Now in this example, we have three linear factors in the denominator. You may remember in my earlier tutorial, I talked to you about linear factors. And these give rise to partial fractions of the type of a constant, let's call it A, over each of the individual linear factors. So in the first case, it'll be A over X minus 1 plus another constant, B, we'll say, over the next factor, x plus 3. And finally, another constant, C, over x plus 1. You can obviously have any letters that you like, but most people tend to go for A, B, and C, etc. Okay? Next, multiply both sides by the denominator here. And so if you multiply this fraction by the denominator, x minus 1, x plus 3, x plus 1, what you get is simply x plus 2. And then if we multiply each of these fractions in turn by x minus 1, x plus 3, x plus 1, then in the first example, the x minus 1 factor gets cancelled with that one, leaving you with a times x plus 3, x plus 1. Then we go to the second fraction, multiply that again by this denominator here, and the x plus 3 gets cancelled out with the x plus 3 here, leaving you with x minus 1, x plus 1. So we have b times x minus 1 and x plus 1. And the final fraction, we have this fraction being multiplied by that. The x plus 1 gets cancelled, leaving us with the x minus 1, x plus 3. So we have c times x minus 1 and then x plus 3. OK, so we've got three constants to be found. And what do we do? Well, again, as before, we try and eliminate some of these brackets. And by choosing, say, a suitable value for x, we can take out one of these brackets. We can make it equal 0, in which case, when you multiply through by 0, it will make the particular term disappear. So let's start then by choosing uh, first value. Let x be minus 3. That will make this bracket 0. So if we put this down, say, let x equal minus 3. Then on the left we have minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1. And that's going to equal, well, putting minus 3 here makes that 0. And 0 times anything is going to make that disappear. On to this second set, okay, this second term. If x is minus 3, we've got minus 3 and minus 1, that's minus 4. And minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, so minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8, so we've got plus 8b. Next, onto this term, if x is minus 3, well it's going to mean that this bracket here becomes 0, and 0 times anything will make it come to 0, so it'll just disappear. So what we have here is that b equals minus 1 over 8, minus 1 8 all right. Okay, let's try and find out another constant. Looking along here, let's make this bracket here equal 0. And we can make this bracket here equal 0 if we choose x to be minus 1. So let x be minus 1. Repeating the process again, minus 1 add 2 is 1. So we have 1 equals don't forget it becomes an equals now uh, because we're dealing with equations. Putting minus 1 through here, this becomes 0. So 0 times anything will make that disappear, go to 0. Minus 1 again in this bracket will make this one disappear. OK. And minus 1 here, well, we've got minus 1, minus 1, so that's minus 2. Let's just put that down there. Minus 1, add 3, that's going to be 2. So minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 times the C is minus 4C. So we have minus 4C. And dividing both sides by minus 4 leads to C equaling negative 1 quarter.
quarter. OK, one more value to get, and that is obviously the constant A. So, what can we pick now to make one of the brackets go to zero? Well, we have got the x minus 1 here. So, by choosing x to be 1, OK, let x equal 1, we can make that bracket here and here disappear. OK, so let x equal 1 over here. We've got 1 add 2, which is 3. OK, equals, and then we have 1 add 3, which is 4. And then 1 add 1, which is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 8a. OK, putting 1 in here, that becomes 0. 0 times anything will be 0. And putting the 1 in here, this is 0. 0 times anything makes all of this lot disappear. So solving for a, dividing both sides by 8, leads to a equals 3 eighths. OK, so we're nearly at the end now. So we've got our values of a, b and c. All we need to do is put them back into here. So copy down the original fraction. So therefore we have x plus 2 over the three linear factors x minus 1, x plus 3 and x plus 1 and we see that this is identical to a over x minus 1. Now a is a positive value so that's a good one to start with so we'll put that as 3 eighths okay, over x minus 1. OK, we'll talk about this later on because it doesn't look very nice at the moment. Now we come on to this second fraction. It's the B value. Try and avoid writing a plus until you've looked at what your B value is. If you do, you're going to end up scribbling it out in a minute because we have a plus over a negative value is overall going to be negative. So we have negative there. And we have minus one eighth, okay, so pop that in there over the fraction x plus three. Again, hold back, look to see what your c value is. C is minus a quarter, so put minus there and then one quarter over x plus one. Okay, so we've got our partial fractions, but they don't look very glamorous with fractions like this, okay? So what we need to do is tidy these up. And in situations like this, okay, where you've got a value here, what we do is we look at take this value, 8 in this case, and what we do is multiply top and bottom by 8 over 8. So put that in brackets and then an 8 down there. Multiplying top and bottom by the same value is like multiplying by 1. So it doesn't alter the value of this, it just changes the appearance. And this is something that you should really be used to by now. So what do we really have? This becomes 3 because the 8's cancel here. So we get 3 all over 8 lots of x minus 1. And don't multiply the bracket out, OK, to give 8x minus 8. Just leave it as 8 lots of x minus 1. And if we do the same thing here, multiply top and bottom by 8, would have 1 8 times 8 just gives me the 1, so we have minus 1 over, and then we have 8 times the denominator there, 8 lots of x plus 3. And on this one, we've got to multiply top and bottom by 4 to get rid of that. So multiplying the top by 4 just leaves us with 1, okay, and then that will be over 4 times the denominator, x plus 1. Now with practice, okay, I know this tutorial might well have been explained fairly slowly, but with practice you should be fast at this. And secondly, you most probably won't want to write this out. You'll see it coming and be able to go from this particular situation straight into this one without any effort at all.